Hello students, so let's try to solve one problem and it is a very wonderful problem and this problem was asked into CSIR net examination 2022 and it's a very wonderful problem and the, let me explain first uh, this problem then I will tell you why I have chosen this problem basically. So this there is a Hamiltonian and it is written in orthonormal basis of n kit n can we go from so n can be equal to 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 and so on and there is a uh, sket phi is defined as e to the power i n phi and n kit and what we have to do we have to calculate the eigenvalue if this phi is the eigenstate of this h hamiltonian so problem is straightforward but its calculation is awesome and you will see that examiner has tested their students that how you can see the whole summation of series. Let me solve this problem, then I will tell you where is the actual trick. So the problem is very simple. What I have, I have h phi is equal to e phi and phi. Phi is the eigenvalue which I have to calculate it. Obviously, the answer must be in form of E and epsilon and obviously phi. They have to be a calculated this E phi in that particular term. So obviously, what I am going to do, if I will just put this particular value, H, if I will put this particular value, so H phi is equal to E phi phi. So let's calculate first H phi. So when we will calculate h phi, then you can see one summation n is there and another summation n in, is also there. But when you will combine these two things, then there will be double summation because this n will independently go to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or plus 1, 2, plus or 0, plus minus 1, plus minus 2 and so on. And this n will going to completely. So first we have to try to understand when double summation will come into the picture, then you have to use two indices. So let's try to write whole this thing, something like this. So this is equivalent to summation over n and summation over m. I will take summation over n for h and summation over m for this one. So what is going to happen? So if this is going to operate on this, so then e, n, k, n, and here is m. I am using this m index for it and it will be e to the power i m phi plus epsilon n plus 1 n m and e to the power i m phi plus epsilon n n plus 1 m and e to the power i m phi so i hope everything is visible to you now they are in an orthonormal basis. So this thing can be written as summation over n, summation over m, and this is e, n k, and this is n n to m, e to the power i m phi plus epsilon n plus 1, and this thing is also n into m, e to the power i m phi plus epsilon n k delta n plus 1 m and e to the power i m phi. So now, hence they are in, in an orthonormal basis. So this term will survive only for n is equal to m. So this term will survive only for n is equal to m, but this term will survive m is equal to n plus 1. So what will happen? Now this two summation will converted into single summation. So what is the single summation? The single summation is e, the summation over n e n k e to the power i n phi the m will go on here so plus epsilon n plus 1 e to the power again i n phi plus epsilon n k and this term will be e to the power i n plus 1 phi this is very interesting so this is h phi and this h phi must be equal to e phi and phi. So let me go for next step. So when we are going to write 
h phi is equal to e phi. So h phi is basically n e n e to the power i n phi plus epsilon n plus 1 e to the power i n phi plus epsilon n get e to the power i n plus 1 phi and this is equal to e phi is the eigenvalue and this is again summation over n and n get e to the power i n phi. Now, what is going to happen? Look at first what I am going to do, I will just collect the n ket together and plus 1 ket together and here is n also. So, let us try to collect these and everything. So, I think we have done all this thing. So, I will just keep this thing here and then I can solve it. So, what I will get? I will get summation over n and that value is e and e e to the power i n phi plus epsilon e to the power i n plus 1 phi. I am just collecting n ket here and n ket is there plus here is again next summation n and this will be epsilon n plus 1 e to the power i n phi is equal to e phi summation over n and we have e to the power i n phi n ket. So, I can use this space properly. So, this value is n ket. Now look at what is going to happen in this particular problem. This is okay with my right hand side because this is n kit. This is n kit. But here we have n plus 1 kit. So this is actually n plus 1 kit. This is n plus 1 kit. So we cannot compare the thing in both sides. And because they are summation, all are summation, you cannot treat, you have to compare 1 to 1, 2 to 2, 3 to 3 because all have different dimension different uh, vectors one vector can be different two vector can be different and uh, the most important thing is in this problem that n is varying from minus term as well as plus term so it will create a little bit jumbleness what will happen n is equal to 0 is here but if i will put n is equal to minus 1 then it is also n is equal to 0 so it is very difficult to compare the thing so what i have to do look at here is the most important thing we are going to do. Now, what I can do? I can just change this indices. What I can do? I can just change this indices n plus 1 to n. And then this n will convert it to n minus 1. And again, I will go from same value of n because n is going from minus infinity to plus infinity. So, so this limit is not going to change if I am going to change shift this particular thing. So now it's a very interesting. So this trick we are using into the series solution of differential equation. So the same trick we are using here. So here epsilon e to the power i n plus 1 phi and this will be n ket and now this is given by summation over n epsilon n ket and this is written as i n minus 1 phi and this value is equal to e phi and summation over e to the power i n phi and n ket. Now I can equate the n ket on both sides because everywhere is n ket. So now you can use equate 1 to 1, 2 to 2, 3 to 3 and that can be easily equated. So we can equate n to n and what is going to happen? Look at here. So we have e e to the power i n phi plus epsilon e to the power i n plus 1 phi plus e to the power i n minus 1 phi must be equal to e phi and e to the power i n phi. And now I can divide each and everything with e to the power i n phi and I can get the final solution. 
and if we are going to divide it then what we will get we will get e plus epsilon e to the power i phi plus e to the power minus i phi and this value is equal to e phi what i can do i can divide by 2 multiply by 2 then this term is nothing but what cos phi so i can use this space to write my final answer the final answer will be e plus 2 epsilon cos phi this is your eigen value corresponds to your eigen function phi and it's a awesome problem it's a wonderful problem it will not only test your quantum mechanical concept rather it will also test your acumen about the solution acumen about the series solution how you can see the all the series and that series is from minus infinity to plus infinity and all in po positive and negative integers are there and how you can do all this particular problem so what i can say this is one of the wonderful problem ever asked into any examination of quantum mechanics so students try to do this problem with yourself and get the confidence how you can approach this type of problem thank you